Well, in the race for the White House, second lady Karen Pence making a stop right here in Utah today. In fact, right here in Salt Lake City. She filed paperwork to put President Donald Trump on the state's GOP primary ballot in the 2020 presidential race. Political experts say all eyes are going to be on Utah during the election. ABC 4's Brittany Johnson now live in studio to explain. That's right, Nick. The filing with the state for, of Utah for President Donald Trump is the first for a Republican primary candidate. Tonight, I spoke with the Hinckley Institute of Politics about the significance of Karen Pence doing this filing and why Utah is a key state in the 2020 presidential race. Please join me in welcoming the second lady of the United States of America here to Utah. The race for the White House makes a stop in Salt Lake City. Second lady Karen Pence filing paperwork to put President Donald Trump on Utah's presidential primary ballot. Thank you. Rallying a group of invited Trump supporters at the state capitol. We must keep moving forward. This election is about jobs, it's about security, and it's about our liberties. We are winning under President Trump's leadership, and to keep winning, we need four more years. Morgan Lyon Cotty, Associate Director, Hinckley Institute of Politics at the University of Utah, says the Pences will be in Utah leading up to the 2020 election, shoring up support for the president. Utahns like uh, that principled, conservative image that the Pences project. With Vice President Mike Pence and his wife Karen being more popular in Utah than the president himself. A crucial part of any election is turnout. You have to have a message that excites people and makes it so they want to come out and vote for you. Utah is very important in the 2020 election. In 2016, when Republicans weren't coming out in strong support for President Trump, that was a bad visual. People will be watching Utah this time around to see if they've responded to his record and his message. The associate director says the spotlight has been on Utah in the past several presidential elections, and it's no different for 2020, as the University of Utah is center stage for the vice presidential debate. The eyes of the world will be on the University of Utah campus. Senator Mike Lee also announced at the event he will serve as co-chairman of the president's re-election campaign in Utah. Nick, back to you.